Today I'm going to flip through and review Drawing the Head and Figure by Jack Ham. This book was originally published in 1963. This is now a reprint by Penguin Publishing and it's in paperback. Um, I find this book to be very, very useful and kind of overlooked. And the reason I think it's overlooked is as you can see, the, the style of illustrations in it, particularly for the women, the females, but also for the men, is a little bit outdated. It has kind of that Gibson girl look, and it's a little bit on the cartoonish side, but I find that if you read through the text, there's really a lot of very good information here, and it's short and concise. It goes through proportions and then kind of goes through the typical skeletal system, muscular system, but it gives a lot of tips like this, the principle of the T. And if you read through this, I think you'll find a lot of different kind of hints and a lot of, not really even tricks, but just things that are very relevant to drawing, like the landmarks of the body the center of gravity or the center of the weight, how the hips and the shoulders cooperate. I found this to be, just this little bit here, to be really helpful in learning to draw the human figure. It has a nice section on hands. It also has a really good section on feet and how they fit into shoes. And then it has a section in the back, a short section on clothing and different types of folds, how it's affected by light and shadow. So this is, again, Drawing the Head and Figure by Jack Ham. And I wouldn't overlook this book. It's not that expensive. And despite the fact that the illustrations do look somewhat dated, I think it's well worth it for the information that you'll find in it.